This is a bit of a test, really. Um, welcome to the Adam and Co show. I didn't come up with a name. Um, Georgie did. Oh. Georgie's not here tonight to take credit for it, so um, I'm it's sure she will in some awesome form name. later. Yeah, There's a, I, I couldn't come up with anything better. So basically, what I'm trying to do with this is a, it's a video podcast, um, just sort of us talking about random shit with uh, achievement and a guest. Um, and sort of talking about sort of achievement stuff as well, as well as random kind of geek, all things geekery and anything that we feel like talking about, really. Um, so we'll see how it goes for a couple of weeks. If people like it, we'll keep making it, or I'll keep making it because I'm taking full responsibility for this. Um, and if people don't like it, they'll let it fade into nothingness and we'll never speak of it again. So um, tonight, uh, in the form of achievement, of a mint, we have Emma Jane Corsan. And as our special guest and long-term friend of the Mint, we have Jack Perling. I'm a special guest. He is special guest. Very special. Um, mm. Animator Supreme, yeah, Jack Perling. So... You've forgotten to introduce... Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> well, we, we weren't even... What, what did you say his name was? Ah, uh, you just having a name. Yeah. No, but... You'll learn about him later. Oh, uh, we'll, we'll talk about him later. Yeah, it was a... Uh, <laughs> he's a homeless guy. Um, it's pretty serious stuff we're getting into tonight. No, it should be pretty light-hearted. Deep, um, dark... <laughs> Yeah. Of yeah. So basically, we've got a couple of things I want to sort of discuss this evening, um, and one of them is actually uh, Grand Theft Auto V, uh, which the internet has been a buzz with. I can see a few. Yes. Yeah. I'm kind of like, oh, ah. Yeah. Can't handle my uh, excitement. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Can't hold Please. it. In. Please. I'm... Please. Don't hold it in. <laughs> I'll try my hardest. It's it's not long now either, is it? It's... No. It's uh, getting there. The, the, no. Yeah. G Day is it upon us. G Day is that what they're calling it? It'll be around oh, the time you start. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It'll be around the time you start university. I think it's which is going to be very counterproductive. I think it's for three you. days and you go down. Well, based on my situation <laughs> now, I might not get to ever use my Xbox in my room. That's a whole different. Yeah, kettle of fish. But anyway, have you pre-ordered it? No. Nah, I no. Haven't, I haven't done. I have. You get a free blimp. A blimp. You get a blimp. Are we allowed to swear on this? You can swear as much as you like. <laughs> Shit, son, that's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, obviously it, it's pretty huge and it seems to be improving over GTA 4. I mean, you're playing playing GTA 4 at the moment. Yeah, I tried to play GTA 4 when it originally came out and I got maybe, I don't know, about an hour's worth of play of it because I just got annoyed with the social part of the game. Uh, Having your, your to always friends. arrange stuff with your friends. And yeah. Illegal, you want to go bowling. Oh. No. So, so I'm actually in the middle of a really serious <gasps> mission right now. I can't do the episode. Fuck off, Roman, fuck <laughs> off. I just, yeah, I just yeah, can't stand. Minutes out. And I think Roman. the benefits you got from um, the friends when you had built up that relationship was quite good. Yeah, you get a helicopter good. later on and stuff. Yeah, like but, but I, I just couldn't, couldn't be bothered. Yeah, yeah, exactly my point. And it seems like they've really ironed out those kind of kind of things. But I am... <laughs> it's put me off real friends. Yeah. Ah, oh, they yeah, couldn't bother that's, real friends to nah, begin that's with. That's why I can't so. have a roommate. <laughs> so, um, but out of the GTAs that have come out, what what were your what what was your favourite? <laughs> Matt's putting um, up Jack. Yeah. 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 What was your favourite GTA? Vice City. Without yeah, I would agree, Jack. Uh, oh, I don't know. I guess Vice City is pretty good, but I can't. I guess the one I started playing really more, really playing. That makes sense. It doesn't make sense. I, I know what you mean. It San Andreas. Sense. San Andreas is yeah. good. It's for, the, yeah. for the cycling and the tattoos. Yeah. <laughs> and the but then jets. that has some bullshit to it as well. It's like, oh, you've got to get really, really fit or you're not well, going to do a lot. Well, you don't have Yeah, but it's a lot really more really difficult. Fit. Like, running around is harder if you're a big uh, drunk guy. Like, yeah. yeah, there are some missions and it's a bit of a chore. It's like, oh, let's go kill. No, you have to have body mass. <laughs> Yeah, I just... Wow, it's realistic, um, right? <laughs> and I was watching uh, a video yesterday, like, Rooster Teeth do, like, five fa facts about previous video games, and they were just talking about San Andreas, and they didn't really care for it that much. They thought it was too big. Oh, no. But I think... I can see what they mean. I thought it was fun. But yeah. Go on a jetpack with my little... Uzi. Yeah, jetpack was yeah. amazing. <laughs> One of the fun parts. But the reason I like Vice City so much, actually... It's just the overall look of it. Yeah. And soundtrack just all the good. neon and the soundtrack. Yeah, it's just... Oh, I was yeah. too so young to appreciate it. Yeah. Oh. The correct was... answer is GTA 3. Just throwing it out there. I don't, I don't mm. think GTA oh, 3 was... Probably about... I like it. I like, I like most answer. GTA games. It's just... 
my personal preference. There's something about spicy. the grim greyness of the city that doesn't feel as appealing. And you look at the screenshots of GTA Five, and you just think mm. that looks beautiful. And it seems to me like they've combined mm. all the great elements that they've had through like Red Dead Redemption, like the hunting and the the combat mm. and things like that, um, and applied that mm. to, to GTA Five. What I really hope is they fix the thing that was a problem in GTA 4 and Red Dead Redemption where your character like falls over at the, the slightest <laughs> mishap. And it, it, it's almost like slow motion oh, and he's kind yeah. of like, oh, oh. No, I just, I hope personally that you can't just knock over a lamppost with yeah. ease but then can't go for a tree. Yeah. It's just absolute, yeah, you know, it's all, all equally run over yeah. all or nothing's mm. run over all. So, mm. but yeah, um, but yeah, like I said, not long now so we'll get to see if it's yeah. living up to the hype. Mm. Yeah. Oh, I'm very excited for it. Yeah. I have a lot of uh, anticipation for it. Yeah. Building up. That's, I can that's, see. That's all right I right As Whoa! I can tell. It's, <laughs> yeah. it's getting hot in here, but it's very yeah. hot anyway. So apologies if you can hear yeah, it's noise like of traffic. We've got the window open. 29 so. degrees in here. Yeah, and I'm wearing jeans. You should put that in Fahrenheit for our foreigners. I don't know what that is on Fahrenheit. Big uh, number. A lot. Of <laughs> I, I think it's close to 100. It must be around 90. Oh, okay. 85, yeah. 90. Around 90. That's a big number. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Fahrenheit. So, Jack, you're here yes. to talk to us about uh, your short film. Yeah, well, I did a film ah, uh, called Hobo with an Ovo. Uh, don't know if you noticed it. But uh, that's the character in all his glory. Uh, not animated. That's not we yet can kind of make possible. Oh, so yeah, we could, we could pretend. Yeah. You pretend if you like. <gasps> Kids, he's animated. So where did the idea come from for Hobo with an Obo? <laughs> uh, I've been asked this many times. And it, uh, it, it kind of just happened. I was drawing things. That... <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I was drawing things that rhymed. Okay, right. right. Nice. It, not really. I was like, oh, uh, a baboon with a spoon. <laughs> it, it it could have been a baboon with a spoon. I'd watch that as I, well. I'd watch that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and then it just kind of went on to hobo of an oboe. It kind of went there. And then I was just... Yeah. And then I, I can't remember who is said that, it. Is that your drawing? Yeah, that, that's, <laughs> how, that's how you draw. You go... <laughs> You sort of wave your hand. Tip there for do, any do, budding yeah. animators. Yeah. It's a lot of noise, a lot of waving about. And then someone just said, is that going to be your final film? And at this point, it was like a week before we kind of had to des- kind of decide what we were supposed to be doing. So I was like, yeah, that's going to be my final film. Nice. And nice. That's, that was, yeah. And that's where I all gone. went wrong. For, for those of you who don't know Jack, because I've known Jack for a number of years now, Hey. Um, as have uh, the rest of Cheesemen. This film screams Jack Perling. Everything about it, sorry, that's uh, the face for making a noise. Everything about it is, mm. is just screams you. Because I've seen the evolution of your drawings. If you ever seen one of uh, Jack's showreels, there's like a cactus playing drums at one point. And that's, yeah. yeah. And uh, that was really fucking good. It, really, it, really, it really is really alright. Yeah, um, you know, you kind of get sick of it after you've drawn the 1,000th frame. <laughs> no, no, I don't want to do this anymore. Uh, but uh, I think the trick to it is finish it, don't watch it for about a month, then watch it, and then be like, yeah, I did this. It's really, really professional looking. And I mean, yeah. you've just completed your degree in animation. Got a first. Hire me. Yeah. Um, and Jack's looking for a job. So. Hire this right man. Here. Hire him. Well, he's got a job interview tomorrow. Yeah. If he gets that oh. job. Mm. then don't worry, go away. Unless it's like <laughs> Pixar or something. But, um, yeah. So, yeah, 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 good I, luck. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. I'm, I'm sure you'll blow him away because... I hope so. Yeah. It's exciting, though. I'd like to see mm. Baboom of a Spoon. Are Maybe. you, you going to uh, no. do any more? I don't want to do animation ever again. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> that degree's going to go don't far, then. I think you meant that. No, I, I don't mean it. Uh, I, I love animation. Um... Uh, it's just a bit hard because that took about four months to do and that's a long time like constantly working at it mm. yeah. so it was a bit hard and as someone wanted to commission me to do a spoon and then of course it wouldn't please. be hard it'd be really easy and you could totally yeah, do just it give me really like I'll commission fif- you to do 50 50 a, grand. About a horse called Philly with a willy okay <laughs> it'll be an hour long. Uh, Philly with a willy look but, out for the kickstarter I think I think we um <laughs> 
I think you probably appreciate what you mean in that constant work. Obviously, yeah. animation, you're in that one spot with, with mm. filmmaking, you're doing Editing. lots of different things. Yeah. Oh. But we spent the whole of last year working on Locked, and has, we haven't even spoken about doing any more of it yet because yeah. it's just, it's, mm. it's a lot, and you just get sick of it. And, and hearing people ask you, uh, yeah. When are you going to do more unlocked? Much like I just asked you, it's when like, are you going to do more? <laughs> it's kind of annoying, isn't it? It's like, it's... No, go away. Yeah. Uh... You kind of want to move on to, to other things. And... Yeah, I wouldn't mind doing like a sequel if someone paid me. <laughs> hint, hint. Hi, <laughs> this man. Like, if, maybe, maybe, yeah. If people want to see Hobo Novo, where can they find it? Uh, is there going to be like a little... Yeah, we'll put links and images up all, all <laughs> okay. through. Just but... Well, just look at the link. Uh, I guess you could go to thatperlingboy.com or follow me on Twitter, at Jack Perling. It's pretty I'd simple, recommend that. that. He's and very funny. I'm all right, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 that, that's an understatement. Jack's very good as an animator, but also he's probably the king of Twitter. <laughs> he, he is the king of Twitter. I tell all my friends that, like people at work, yeah. and I'm like, why you not following this guy? Mm. Nobody <laughs> follows me. I want you and oh, Jamie Smart to move in together, and because both your tweets are like very similar, and just sort of see what would happen. I think the world, yeah, oh, bunk beds. All the drawings would subject. be amazing. Um, yeah, so give Jack a job. He might be working on right now. Might he will be working on very soon? Yeah. I think he'll be working on yeah. much more closely in the future as well. Mm, we got a collaboration going. Yeah. We're gonna have to start paying you. God yeah. damn it! Well, I can say I'm paying him. Yeah, yeah. Matt and Jack. We've got friendship. Matt and Jack are gonna be working on a a collaborative project which will yeah. combine. Live action animation, it's going to be better than Who Framed Roger Rabbit. It's so. going to be pretty good. Mm. Yeah, it's, good. it's going to be incredible. I've done a couple designs. Um, you haven't seen them yet, but um, exclusive. <laughs> now, we th- this might get cut off at some point because I'm pretty sure we're still okay for time with the camera. There's a technical issue I'm not going to bore you with. Blooming but um, I'm gonna, uh, what I'd like to be a regular feature of the Adam and Co show is the game Would You Rather. Oh god. Now you've probably heard of this game before where you're giving two horrible scenarios and you have to pick which one you would rather have to have happen to you or do or whatever. Um, so this one's going to be off my own back but what I'd like is for people in the future to suggest these um, if possible. Otherwise it's just going to be from my own horrible imagination. But this one isn't from my own horrible imagination. This is from my friend at work, Rosie Cook um, who randomly at work in the office asked me this question. So, Rosie. Emma Jane's already been asked this. This is weird. It's new for Jack. I'm not come for you. happy. Would ever. you rather? Would you rather have poo for shoes? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hang on. Or Wait. or poo shoes? <laughs> what? <laughs> so basically, do you want to walk around with shit on your feet, or would you rather shit out shoes? Because that's a normal question. Now, now, before you make a decision. <laughs> There are a couple of things to fig- to bear in mind. Okay. Your feet will be covered in shit, and there's no telling what that consistency will be. Okay, I was going to ask, is it like a thick kind of... No, I think it probably yeah. adjusts with the weather. Like, if it rains, it's going to get diarrhea. Washed off? No, it's always going to be clingy. Like it's, it's like it's growing out of your foot. Oh. But, if you shit shoes, that's going to hurt. Rosie, why? <laughs> <laughs> but... You might end up with a pair that you might want to wear, so you could yeah, wash them and it'll be fine. That's a mite. So, so, you might have so, to shit out tons of Dr. Martins to get like an amazing pair of shoes, and yes. that's going to hurt. So, let me. Do I. Is it. I, do, <laughs> <laughs> this is really. Funny. Okay, I get, I get the <laughs> poo shoes thing. Like, yeah. I will have shit on my feet. I don't really fancy that. But I just kind of want to understand a bit more about this pooing a shoe business. Yeah. Do I forever. Like, instead of pooing poo, do I poo shoes? <laughs> you poo shoes. Okay, they so that's, out, that's They don't come out covered in poo, they literally just oh, come out of your bum in your shoes. Okay. Imagine a stiletto coming out. Yeah, you, but you don't know what kind of shoe it's going to be. It could be a big boot, it could be a oh. plimsoll. It could, could be a little baby shoe. Yeah, exactly, yeah, it could be a baby shoe. it'll change every time. There's no... Would it be, always be guys' shoes? And they wouldn't necessarily be guys' mm-hmm. shoes, it could okay. be girls' shoes as well. All sizes? All sizes, all oh. shapes. You'd oh, never see. know. Oh. Well, perhaps your diet will influence it, but I don't know the science behind that. <laughs> Who knows the science behind shitting shoes? Well, Anyone? Rosie. Yeah, Rosie might do. <laughs> Even stepping on poo with shoes on is unpleasant, and there's nothing more satisfying than a big old poo. <laughs> I just said that. <laughs> it is pleasant, it is pleasant. Uh, really? So, like, <laughs> poo I just out. want to say, um, I do not find shitting pleasant in any way. Just, 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 yeah, What's you wrong know. with you? Yeah. You know what I mean. <laughs> okay, okay. Right, now. right I need, I need your answers. Uh, I don't know. 
poo shoes. You know what I mean? Is... I'd rather walk around with shit on my feet than shit out a shoe. Well, I would personally <laughs> poo shoes as well because I could start selling them. So this wow. week, the winner is pooing shoes. <laughs> What do you but, think? But what do you think? Let us know at all the usual places. Tweet because, us. Yeah, tweet just us. Just don't tweet us from the toilet. Tweet I us. don't want to know. Yeah. Like, oh, I just pooed. It looks like a shoe. Actually, I wouldn't mind if this was uh, Vance. <laughs> Actually. Oh, my God. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Thank you very much for that, guys. I'm looking forward to oh more of those. God. Okay, so... Um, what we've done as well is we've put a couple of tweets out and some posts on Facebook asking for you guys for your questions. We've had quite a response so far, yeah. actually. Obviously, we're not recording this live, which is a shame, because it'd be cool if we were. Um, so you're going to have to wait and see the responses to your questions. Um, Tim Mason has given us a Would You Rather question, which I'm going to save, because I think that'd be better for a future episode. Because we've already had a very good Would You Rather this time. Yeah. Um, but if someone can up the game, I will prioritise another one. <laughs> uh, so... One of the first ones, a bit random. Could 25 squirrels take down a bear? Depends. Do they have rabies? Yeah. That would have been my first question. Let's say we don't know for sure if they've got rabies. Okay. Uh, mm. I'm going to say... No. Hey, yes. What are we talking about? Yes. No, it's a fucking bear. Yeah, Hang I'm going to say yes. I'm going <laughs> to say yes. You no. say yes. Like, if the little squirrels get on those little bear nuts... Uh, yeah. He's not going to be happy. As long the as eyes. it's not a little bear, like yeah. a cub. Is it a brown bear, a black bear, or bear grills? Yeah. <laughs> bear grills. Yeah, because yeah, bear like, grills get fucked up by anything. It's like a grizzly bear. I, squirrels may not have a chance. I reckon that Ooh, the squirrels would probably surprise you. Because they're probably, they're probably a bit like... Is this um, like the Jurassic Park raptor? Yeah, theory? that's the thing. Like the, the little dinosaurs the in the Lost raptors, World. The tiny little ones. I can't remember what they're called. Consolmakers. Comstock Mathers family. Um, I'm going to put a picture of them up at the moment. Um, <laughs> so again, if we had a live studio, I could do that, but we don't. Yeah, We're filming in Madam's living room. Um, but okay, the general consensus is <sighs> squirrels will win, yes, if they have rabies, but I think even if they had rabies, they would die in because the, the bear would die later. The, the, the koala bear. No, whoa, whoa, whoa. Koala's not a bear. It's not a bear. Oh, oh isn't it? Oh, no. well, okay. I'll just shut up then. So <laughs> I think, yeah, it depends if they've got rabies. Uh, the other question that we have is who would win in a fight between Alan Moore and Neil Gaiman? I love Neil Gaiman, but I've got to say, Alan Moore's going to win this. Um, for people who don't know, Alan Moore beard. is it's very be, big with a massive beard. It's going to be more. Yeah, he, yeah. Would, he would crush Neil Gaiman. <laughs> yeah. Wait, does, does Neil Gaiman have rabies? <laughs> <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I mean, I did wonder if maybe Neil Gaiman might have backup from Amanda Palmer, because I wouldn't want to fuck with her. But yeah, Amanda Palmer has rabies. I think well. Alan Moore Whoa. is quite intimidating, okay. I would say. I think Alan Moore... And would. crazy. Yes. And we have a slightly more serious question. Um, sorry, I should, I should say that the, the squirrel question was from Stuart Hellingsworth oh, yeah. via Facebook. Cheers, and uh, the who'd win the fight between Alan Moore and Neil Gaiman was from Jane Ross on Facebook, so thank you guys. Um, we've got a slightly more serious question from uh, Nigel Haynes. Off of Abstract Sprocket Comic Book Shop in Norwich, you should buy your it's comics there. It's a really there. cool shop. They're not even sponsoring Aww. us, and I gave them that uh, little uh, no, just mean to me. plug. Oh. Yeah, well, you deserve it. Yeah. True. Um, Incidentally, it's the comic book shop that features in our web series. Yeah. Unlocked. Yeah. Yay. So you should go check out our series and check out our shop. Um, basically, Ni- Nigel's. Hang on, where, where did I find it? Okay, yeah. <laughs> Nigel's asked for each of one of you, and I don't know if he knows who's here, so we're just okay. going to go for these three. Um, <clears throat> And if you're not much of a comic book reader, this might be harder. Oh, For each one of you, if a comic of your life was made, who would be the writer and who would be the artist? Oh, artist would be Frank Quietly, because I love his work. Yeah. Writer. Come back to me on writer. I'm thinking okay. about it. Uh, I would be the artist. You would be a art- <laughs> good answer. <laughs> That's a good yeah. answer. Yeah. I, I'm, I, I don't do much comic, sorry. Um, and... Me. Matthew's pointing to himself, so that could only mean. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? What, what are you trying to say? I, I think he's trying to say that I should get a mustache <laughs> to write it. I would, I would really want the writer, and I think this applies to a film or a TV show. But I'd really like it to be Joss Whedon because oh. he gets anxiety, and I feel like my life has been full. Of anxiety and worry okay. and teenage angst. So. Good character writer, and he isn't gets it? shit yeah. done. He gets shit he done. Does get he shit does. Done. does. Um, Coming back to my one, the writer. I think, to be honest, I would go to one of my friends, yeah. and that friend in particular would be Michael. 
Michael Bramley. Um, he's already a comics writer anyway, and I just would always want to be promoting my friends. So that's nice. Yeah. I have a question. Yeah. Um, hang on, I need to just let my answers first. Oh, sorry. Um, that, that way, I'm just going to say uh, my answer would be Tim Sale. So oh. yeah, oh, interesting. Big okay. Things. Yeah, but I, I, I love the, the sort of the color work and then just the kind of like general style of it. And I think that combined with like a kind of like a slightly more. I, I hope, well, my life is kind of an upbeat story, I'd hope, anyway. There's got some downturns, but I think it, it would have a nice contrast with just being writing, so... See, that's why I was yeah. trying to ask the nice. question. Is it someone who you would like to write your life, or someone who you think would be fitted to do it? So, for example, I'd say, well, I want to play Brew Baker and Alex Ross, um, but realistically, it would be... Fuck it, Alex Ross. I think... Someone like... I don't know. Yeah, if, in case you can't hear, Matt's kind of asking if would the Sorry. person be suitable for... No, you're right. Yeah. Uh, if, if would they be suitable for writing your, your life? Because some characters aren't going to suit to writing that kind of story. Yeah. Um, I think it would be down to that writer's interpretation. Ooh. So they could take it how they kind of want. It's not going to be true life. So say, for example, The Social Network. Mm. Obviously, it's not a comic book, but that was someone's a big part of someone's life and isn't necessarily 100% accurate. You just kind of hope that whoever is writing it will pay the utmost respect, I'd imagine. So... So on the subject of writers and artists and things like that, which is quite random because this came from on Twitter, um, so we all saw Pacific Rim. Well, I didn't. We didn't see it with you, Jack. You saw it separately. Oh, by myself and Becky. She was there. And Becky. <laughs> Becky's uh, Jack's lovely girlfriend, who's featured in the Array's line. Go check that out. Oh, you can't. It's not available for everyone to watch yet. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you can watch the trailer. You'll see it soon. Yeah, it's, um, it's been some Oh, actually, a few months time, you will get to see it because it's uh, been submitted to Rain Dance. So. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Um, yeah. But I mean, I think we all really, really enjoyed it. Yes. I know. I know. Jack was like, "Oh, the robots and the aliens fighting each other. Amazing story." Yeah. yeah. Which I think um, a lot of people was complaining. No, 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 but, but but it was in the oh. vein of an anime, and yeah. animes are cheesy and over the top, and you know, so yeah. the the writing didn't bother me at all. I, yeah. I loved yes. it. In fact, that's what I that's what I agree with. Yeah. As well. So like the part exactly, you know, where um, uh, Rinko Kakuchi she. That's her name, isn't it? I haven't said that wrong. Yes. Good. <laughs> um, yeah, the part where um, she sort of looks in through his room and then sees him coming out to the door and she runs back in her room yeah. and she's all like, hee It's like, it's, it's so anime. I it love was, it. It was a really, really fun film and it's definitely the most fun I've had in the cinema yeah, this I, year. Actually, mm-hmm. made much to do about nothing kind of rivals it for that, but it's a different kind of fun. Yeah, um, definitely. And Jack recently watched oh my God. a similar film. Oh what was this God. film called, Jack? Uh, it was called Atlantic Rim. So you can see. We go there. Tell, us, tell us about the plot of Atlantic Rim. Well, basically, it's from the guys from the Asylum who've done such great hits uh, like uh, Mega Shark versus Giant <gasps> Octopus. Amazing. Uh, recently, uh, Sharknado, Sharknado, which is about a tornado with sharks in. <laughs> which I don't understand, because that was like, if, if there's an episode of 30 Rock where <laughs> they're trying to film a disaster type video, like where they, you know, like the news report, where like, oh my God, this is a terrible thing happening, but they don't actually have a disaster. So Jack Donaghy goes into the writer's room and says, oh, let's think of some disasters. And people are coming up with stuff like tornadoes that hit a factory of handguns and all the handguns are firing while it goes around. And this sounds sounds exactly like that. But anyway, Pacific... Sorry, Atlantic Rim. Atlantic Rim. Basically, in a nutshell, there's eight big monsters that live underwater and there's giant robots that fight these guys. Mm. Sounds sounds familiar. have I seen a film like that before yeah, in the last know. month? With a similar but I, title? I don't <laughs> understand how they can get away with that. Because yeah. like, you get examples to say, like, um, Finding Nemo, some French author said, oh, that's basically based on my book, or you ripped it off. Um, mm. And the same time with Avatar, and, and, you know, it's quite common. And those kind of things actually go to court. And then you get other things that are, like, blatant uh, parodies, like mm. uh, Scary Movie, um, or porn films. Or porn films, yeah. <laughs> How does a film so blatantly get away with it? They've just changed a name to another ocean, and the basic concept's the same. Okay, it's not the most original concept anyway. But how, how, I don't understand where, where the, the line, and we've worked with parodies a lot, and our, our original series, Series Zero's Van Locked, was very heavily sort of involved in parody, and Unlocked, the Series One was as well, to a certain degree, we've kind of moved away from that bit. Um, I think the further we go with stuff, we are it's like, oh, we can come up with our own uh, really cool shit. But where, does the, where is the line? I don't... 
There's only so many ideas in the world. Depends how much money you have, really. Well, I don't think... What about sense, though? Because Sharknado? Yeah, but then how many... You know, how much money do you think they're really going to make from Atlantic Rim? Yeah, I suppose. They're not going to make the money. So, so you know, Del Toro and co aren't really going to give a shit if they I, make that I much money. I bought it. You <laughs> how, bought it? How much did you pay for it? Well, to be fair, it was like two ninety nine. Okay, that's not too bad. So, uh, it was, you know, it kind of was like, I wonder what this is like. You kind of know it's going to be shit. But... Oh. Yeah, I, I I think yeah, curiosity yeah. does get the better of you. But sorry for how it. how do these guys keep getting what? Well, but to be fair, hats off to them. They keep getting told to make more films, and yeah. it's yeah. because down to the whole plagiarism thing. Um, it's not plagiarism because it's not worth pursuing in court because you get laughed out. That's kind of yeah. 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 And secondly, fair. no offense, Jack, <laughs> but the whole. Um, uh, I wonder how you'd be surprised how much that sells, how much of an industry yeah. that is. Mm. Maybe at least a hundred of those people per I'm, shop I'm sorry, per hour, guys, yeah. for contributing. It's okay. You, you can't stop it. You can't. I don't, sci-fi you can't to stop the Sharknado. I mean, <laughs> these films, as shit as they are, I can only imagine they're better than stuff like Meet the Spartans uh, and uh, and all the other, like superhero movie and epic movie and all that kind of crap, which. Seemed to have died down, then it came back with Vampire Movie, didn't it? So, yeah. oh, I forgot about that. Um, yeah, Just well, because. rightly so, because yeah. it is very disposable. <laughs> Do you know what? I'd, I'd actually say it was better than those parodies. Really? Yeah. That's it, it was shit. That's, that's something. It was really that shit, but it's still better, I think. If you want to see films like this for yourself, don't have a look at sci fi. <laughs> sci fi shows, some of the, the worst possible films, the sci fi channel. Some of the worst, but also some no. of the ones that capture you. Like, I, I no. got caught watching something on there the other day. No. I was just sitting there, you know, a Sunday morning, drinking a cup of coffee, flicking through channels, and I was like, what's this? It's the dude from ER, which I've forgotten his name. Matthew, help me. Dude from ER. Dude from, oh, whatever. <laughs> some guy from ER. Noah Emerson. Noah like. Wiley, there we go. Whatever. Um, and he was in this film about this, like, Librarian, and it was a very Indiana Jonesy type film. Oh, and I it, remember you telling me about this I, one. Yeah, I got, you got quite hooked. engrossed in it, and then it and then it went down a strange route towards the end about pirates, and it lost me completely. But up pirates until that point, <laughs> up until that road. point, I was finding it really quite cool. Well, maybe only because I'd just woken up and it was early on a Sunday morning, <laughs> and I you might have been hungover. Like, hang on, I've been watching this for this yeah. certain amount of time. It's a good hangover but, um, channel. We film. like it. Just I guess really, it should just push us to as filmmakers of different sorts, animators and kind of live action stuff, we need to be making good, good stuff, stuff to, to, you know, show that there are talented people out there who can make films about them being a pile of shit. So, if yeah. If only we were working on an Indiana Jones kind of, oh, oh wait. We do, yeah. We'll have to, uh, see about that, our uh, adventure film that's uh, in the pipeline. Um, yeah, very which pulpy is be, sort of uh, yeah, film. Yeah, it's going to be good fun. And we've got the alignment projects coming up as well. You should head to one... Um, our Facebook page or our website just to get a bit more information about those. Um, two filmed, two film, yet to film, um, but both are written, so hopefully over next month they should get done. Um, mm-hmm. So lots of stuff to look forward to. I think we're going to wrap it up there. Um, let me just double check the time on here. There was one more question that someone just had, another one from Tim Mason. Um, it's, like, oh, it's like he knew, Tim. It's like he knew we didn't answer the first thing. Yeah, he I said, mean. and I can <laughs> barely see this because of the lights, but if you could travel... <laughs> If you could travel back to one historical period, how sexy would it be? I don't understand the parameters of that I. question. I, I understand Does it. he mean how sexy would it be because you're there? Or would no, you go no, no. back to somewhere sexy? He, Tim clearly likes, has a period fetish. <laughs> oh, okay, oh, we're, not, we're, oh, we're, not, we're, we're not We're not going there. We're not historical going there. period. Yeah. Uh, um, the 80s. They were quite sexy. Yeah, <laughs> historical period in the 80s. Really? <laughs> I guess. Well, well, 60s you clearly were born in the 80s. Oh, yeah, yeah, I guess. Like, do you know, it's just people just fuck all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure everywhere sexy. Yeah. yeah. I think the Renee songs will be pretty sexy. Yeah. Mm. Sexy statues. Yeah. Roman bars. I don't know. Yeah, I was yeah, going to say Rome. Rome. Yeah. Like, ancient Rome would be, yeah. or, or ancient Greece. Yeah. Oh, it's a bit buggery. It's still pretty sexy. Before clothes well, were not, invented. Well, not that, but I guess. not buggery. I don't yeah, enjoy that. That was a weird sexy. thing to yeah. talk about. Ca- 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 caveman love. <laughs> caveman love. Oops. But um, thank you for that, Tim. The most weirdest question. Yeah. Like, that, that made the 25 squirrels taking on the bear question look sane. So, <laughs> I just embarrassed myself. Any, anyway, 
I'm gonna I'm gonna call time on this. Oh, Thank you very thanks. much to our special guest Jack Perving. I pooped this. Yeah, he pooped that. <laughs> uh, Thank you very much to uh, Mint, Emma Jane, Corsan. Uh, you should be following both these people on Twitter. Um, and thanks to me, uh, Adam Gunson, because <laughs> wow. I think I did. Thanks, Adam. I, I, oh, give well myself, done, I think I give you, myself Adam. a definite C+. Plus. So this has been the Adam and Co Show. Um, thank you very much. And good night. Oh, but wait, hang on. Make sure you send us more uh, Would You Rather questions, because yeah. we'll pick the best one for next time. Because um, clearly that went down quite do well. Do one when I get home. Yeah, Jack's going to send one in himself. Go on, shoot. Yeah. Bash one out. <laughs> but yeah, thank you very much. Cheers, guys. And this will be the bit where like the camera would sort of pull away and the credits roll and we'd be like talking to each other. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 it's like yeah. typing up my thing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Yeah